hi everyone and welcome to my channel in today's video we'll be making a delicious garden egg sauce if it's your first time in this channel you're very welcome please don't forget to hit on that red subscribe button before leaving and for my return subscribers you're welcome back for the ingredients we've got onions here we've got green bell pepper, cow skin, tomatoes, habanero pepper, smoked fish, this is popularly known as panla. We've got ground crayfish, chopped garlic, cameron pepper, salt and seasoning cube. Thai eggplant, which happens to be the chairman of this recipe. This is very common in some states in Nigeria. You can as well use the regular eggplant, which you are seeing on the screen. It's usually purple in color. And you can as well use the regular garden eggs, the white one, the green one. But if you are making this for anybody from Benin City, be sure to use this very Thai eggplant. If it's not Thai eggplant, it is not garden egg sauce. So I'll go ahead and cut them into blendable sizes. People refer to this as garden egg most times, but it's definitely not garden egg. It's an eggplant species. Even in my hometown, we don't eat this very one. We refer to it as Afufandimo or Afufeikwensu. <laughs> I'll go ahead and blend it roughly. If you have a food processor, that will give you a better result. But I know how to handle my blender to get what I want. If you do not have any of those mentioned, just boil it for 5 minutes and mash it with your mortar. But ensure you have a coarse texture like this for you to enjoy the yummy nature. Moving on, add your palm oil into your heated pot. Heat up the oil for a while and add your chopped onions. I'll saute this for about a minute on a medium heat to enable the onions to release its flavor into the palm oil for more deliciousness. To that, I'll add my chopped garlic. This is very optional, but trust me, it takes the flavor to the next level. Garlic happens to be one of my secret ingredients, and the sister is crayfish <laughs> so add my ground crayfish also saute this for about a minute on a medium heat keep stirring and sure it doesn't get burnt this process intensifies the flavor after about a minute go ahead and add your fresh tomatoes to that i'll add my habanero pepper Stir properly, cover and allow it to cook for about 5 minutes on low to medium heat. After that, go ahead and add your Cameroon pepper. No matter how much fresh pepper I use in my recipes, I hardly do without Cameroon pepper. It has an irresistible flavor. To that, add your cow skin, add your smoked fish. Add your seasoning cube and salt to taste. Stir properly. Cover and allow it to cook on a medium heat for some minutes, maybe three minutes or thereabouts. To that, add your green bell pepper, add your roughly blended Thai eggplant, stir properly and add some little amount of water so the sauce won't be too dry. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with family and friends. And if you are yet to hit on that red subscribe button, please endeavor to do so. 
turn on your notification bell so you'll be the first to see my video each time i upload cook on a medium heat for two to three minutes and ta-da our garden egg sauce is ready this usually goes side by side with boiled yam but you can as well use cooked rice you can use um boiled plantain you know just feel free to you know explore explore please give this video a thumbs up oh if you have not done that please endeavor to do so share this with your family and friends there is someone out there who doesn't know how to make this sauce bye bye see you in my next video <laughs> Don't mind me, Jerry. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Bye.